I love giving them baths. I just see uh, immediate progress of they're out there in the mud rolling around and they come in and they're all looking fresh and shiny for the show. It kind of gives a little boost of, hey, they look good. And it just gives me a little, I'm excited for the show. Today is the heifer and steer show, so I'm getting my two heifers and my one steer prepared. Since it's the beginning of the show, we're also bringing our goats and lambs as well, so we're bringing all of our species here today. I am a livestock judge. I've been judging since 2001. I mean, so these students, in my opinion, are getting kind of a, a leg up on some others that are not involved with in FFA and 4-H. You want one that's just packed full of muscle and power, the one that comes in second there does that. I mean, these students are learning that, that their livestock depend on them for water, they depend on them for feed, they, put, they depend on them for shelter, for medicine, for health, all the things that are real life. I have one lamb, he has a Hampshire and, Sh and Suffolk cross. I walk him 30 minutes a day, he gets his legs washed every three days, and they get hay and feed every day. It gets me excited every day to go to the barn and take care of him. I actually live about 20 minutes out, but I still drive here every day. I wash the cows every single day. I walk my lamb as well, and then I walk my goat at school. There's a lot of work that goes into training an animal, but it takes time, it takes hard work, and then not only to train them to, to walk a certain way, a certain speed, but your, your feed is very important. The quality of feed they eat helps determine the quality of animal they become. I mean, these animals, you know, if you just turn them out, they'd grow hair eight inches long, and they'll come in looking like chia pets. You don't want to do that. So they have to train them, clip their hair, blow dry, wash it. You got to do it every day if you want to be successful. Knowing that I'm getting further and progressing with showmanship is a huge goal of mine. It's like a friendly competition between all of us showmen. The kids that have washed their animals, that have, have shined them up and done a good job clipping their animals, they're gonna stand out from the crowd. You know, I have certain criteria I'm looking for as a judge. You gotta look at even minor things, like how big their, their feet are. Foot size is very important to how durable they're gonna be when they become breed animals. Once you get down to that top two or three, I mean, you have to really start looking at the, the, the real minor thing. Even if you're inexperienced, just jump right in because you never know what you can have experience with and it's just really fun. So I recommend it for people who are unaware if it's your first year, just keep going with it because you will really enjoy it.